Hey, and welcome to another awesomely mediocre tutorial by Trickmaster PC. Today I'm going to show you how to force enable PCI Express 3.0 on your system. This patch actually only works if your motherboard supports PCI Express 3.0 and more specifically your graphics cards and also um, your CPU. The Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge CPUs do support uh, PCI Express 3.0. They do have a limited number of PCI Express lanes that they support. For instance, the Intel Sandy Bridge Socket 2011 3970 Extreme Processor has uh, 42 lanes of PCI Express support. So if you're running uh, two graphics cards in SLI mode, you're using 32 lanes just on those two cards alone. Uh, so it's important to note that you know when you're choosing a processor, you want to make sure that it supports enough PCI Express lanes for you to at least run two-way SLI at full 32 lane speed across both cards. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to do is open up GPU-Z so I can show you that we are running at PCI Express 2.0 uh, Gen 2 X16 on the graphics cards right now. You can also see that by opening the NVIDIA control panel and going to help and system information you'll see that the bus speed right now is gen 2 bus speed which is significantly slower than um, gen 3 the uh, PCI Express 3.0 standard uh, PCI Express 3.0 operates at approximately 8 terabytes um, per second of data transfer processing so it's significantly faster okay let's go ahead and copy over the force enable gen 3 dot executable to the C drive I've already copied it into the root directory of C. There is a command if you need to reverse your force enable. You just launch the executable and type in dash revert, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to open up in the administrative command prompt, and we're going to change the directory to the root of C, and, and then we're going to uh, type in force enable Gen 3, and you'll see that it makes two um, registry entry uh, changes to your system. Then we have to restart the computer. After restart, uh, we'll open up GPU Z and um, we'll see where we stand with the uh, PCI Express bus speed. Now, keep in mind this system that, that I'm running here is it's Windows 8. All my hardware is PCI Express 3.0 compliant, but you notice that everything runs by default at PCI Express 2.0 bus speeds. So it, it is imperative that if you want to utilize uh, what you've paid for, as far as PCI Express 3.0 is concerned, you have to run this patch. It's the only way you're going to get a 3.0 bus speeds on your system. Okay, let's restart. Okay, we've just restarted the system. Let's go ahead and open up GPU-Z and take a look at the uh, bus speed configuration here. As you can see, we're operating on the PCI Express 3.0 standard. Both cards are now operating at PCI Express 3.0. If we check the NVIDIA control panel, uh, you'll now see here that the bus is operating at PCI Express 16 lanes, Gen 3. Uh, your performance enhancement in-game will probably blow your mind. It blew my mind. In Battlefield 3, everything on the highest settings, 1080p resolution, I was looking at an increase of anywhere from 30 to 100 frames per second, depending on situations. But bottom line, my frame rate never dips below 100 usually hitting between 170 and 200 frames per second flat. So running at those higher bus speeds is definitely, it's awesome. I mean, what can I say? It's freaking awesome. Uh, okay, so real quick, I want to show you how to revert that. If you have any problems enabling uh, PCI Express 3.0, you, you have any kind of system instabilities or crashes, let's say your CPU doesn't support PCI 3.0 or something like that, and you want to revert that patch that you've run, so open up the administrative command prompt. Again, change the directory to uh, the root of C, and um, you want to type in force enable gen3 space dash revert. You hit execute on that. It's not going to show you any information after you've executed the revert. It's just going to take you right back to the C command line, but it does in fact remove those entries, and then what you want to do is restart the computer, and when you open up GPU-Z, you'll see that you're now back on the... Uh, PCI Gen 2 bus speeds. Okay, that concludes the tutorial. Thanks, guys. And uh, if you get a second, uh, if you're on my website, please uh, help me out. Just click on a Google advertisement. It gives me a little bit of revenue to help support the site and continue to create tutorials. I have several more that I'm working on, and uh, I appreciate the help. Thanks, guys.